materials are of course very important in Blender but I'm not sure they're very intuitive, very easy to use, so especially I myself have a bit of trouble with the concept of slots as opposed to materials, so that's what I'm going to try to explain in this short little video here. I've started Blender 2.79, uh, it started in cycles render mode because I changed the default very slightly. Cycles of course much better uh, render engine than the Blender render engine, so you should always be using cycles in my opinion. I've got my default cube then, which I'm going to try to um, duplicate with uh, Shift D. And I want to move the duplicate in the Y direction, so I'm pressing Y, placing that one here. Shift D again, duplicate that cube in the Y direction, press Y, place that one here. and uh, what I'm going to try to do is give this middle cube some color by creating material. So I'm going to open the materials panel. This is uh, what I was talking about earlier. This is called a slot here. Let's call this the slots window. I'm going to make the slots window bigger. Right now we have one slot. Basically the slots show the colors that are used or at least available to um, a particular a particular object as opposed to the complete list of materials which is being used in the scene which you would get by clicking here right now there's just one material in the scene but in a complex scene with many objects there might be a very very long list of uh, materials but when you're looking at a specific object you don't want to see that long list of materials you only want to see the materials that are relevant to that particular object, which is what the idea of slots is then. It is possible to have slots that are not assigned to any surface of the of the object though. Uh, a bit like in a football team you might have uh, substitutes on the on the side ready to go. It's 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 something like that. So this looks gray here, it's really white. I'm going to click on the diffuse color here and change it into red and because I'm not going to be modifying this color anymore it's helpful to give a meaningful label to this color here. Uh, so I'm going to call that red. The number three here means that it's in, it has three users which of course is the three, the three cubes here all using the same color. I can click here here, here, I see they all have one slot, and that slot contains the material which I've now called red. So what if I wanted to color this cube with a different color, say green, without affecting the others? The others? I can't do that by simply changing the color here into green, because that will change the, the color of all three cubes into green, since the sharing the same material. So I do have to create a, a new material, not necessarily a new slot, because this cube for the time being it only needs one slot. So instead of clicking here to make a new slot, I'm going to click here to make a new material. And that's a copy of the previously selected material, so it's still red, but it is a different material because it's got a different name. You can't have two materials with the same name. Now then we have two materials, one's called red, one's called red 001. The red 001 is going to become green. So it is green and I will label it green. So that's what I wanted to do in terms of changing the color of whole cubes. So now we have this with one slot with a red color, one slot red color, one slot green color. Let's take this cube on the left and try to give it different colors on different surfaces. If you want to do that you have to be in edit mode. So I'm going into edit mode. All the faces are selected. I'm going to press A to select nothing. We're going to be working with faces so I'm going to switch to face select mode right click on this face, shift right click on this one, those two faces are selected and I'd like to make them go blue. 
that means for the left hand cube I need two slots rather than one. So I'm going to make a new slot for the new color. If I were to click plus here, add new material, it would just it wouldn't add a new slot, it would just affect this this material here, it would become a new material. So we do need to add a new slot here. And it's got no color attached to it, so we'll give it a new material. And that new material I said would be blue. So we've got the new material, which I'm going to call blue, but the selected faces haven't taken that color. And the reason for that is that I have not yet done the step of assigning this new slot to those selected faces, and that's exactly what this does. The, the assign button wasn't there for object view, wasn't relevant, but in edit view I've got this assign button which is going to assign this slot to these selected faces, hopefully. That didn't work perfectly, and I, you could almost call this a bug, I think, in or weakness of Blender 2.79 which I understand might be fixed in Blender 2.8 2 and that is the colors don't necessarily show correctly in solid view, don't forget, I mean Cycles Render, I don't think you have this problem in the Blender Render engine but in Cycles Render you don't necessarily see the correct colors in solid view you have to be in material view to see the correct colors now we can see that those surfaces really were co colored correctly with the blue that I wanted so we have now this, I'm going back into object view so I can s choose the different objects. This one has two slots now, red and blue. This one is a single slot red, this one is single slot green. Let's get some yellow in here somewhere, say for the green cube. Or let's, yeah, let's take the green cube and give it some yellow color to some of its faces. So again, I need to switch into edit mode, select nothing by pressing A, right click this face and this face and we're going to make a new slot with a new color which will be yellow. So I've made the color, I've given it a meaningful label and I mustn't forget to assign that slot to the selected faces. I now have four colors then. You can see them listed here. They're all in use. There's no zero next to any of them. Uh, we can see that the yellow logically is being used by um, only that, that cube. Going back to object mode this had the one slot, one color, and this has the 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 two, two slots for red and blue. I wanted to show you that it's possible to have a material that is not being used by a certain object and yet the, the slot might still appear for it. Going back into edit mode then for this cube at the end, what if I were to take those two faces, I believe they're still selected, and what if I were to give them a blue color? I think uh, I can create a new slot, assign it the blue color which already exists, assign the blue slot to those selected faces, and now there's something interesting going on. Notice the two here, blue being used by these two cubes. What about the yellow? The yellow, there's no cube anymore with any yellow faces, but we don't see a zero in front of the yellow because even though it's not actually stuck on any faces of any cube, it's considered to be in use because we have this slot here for the right-hand cube we have this slot for the yellow color which is available 
if I were to save Blender now, we wouldn't lose that. The yellow color would be there because it's, it, it's considered to have a user. You can always make sure that the color isn't lost, a, a color that a material that has no uses at all. When you close Blender, um, the material is deleted and it won't be there when you reopen Blender. If you want to make sure that you don't lose a certain material for that reason, you can give it a fake user here by clicking this button. And it's exactly what it says here. It'll save that material when you close Blender. It'll save it even if it has no users. It, it gives you like a, a ghost user if you like. So, um, what else? I guess that's about it. Uh, if you're wondering whether it's possible to use different colors within a face, then multiple colors within a face, then you can certainly do that. But that's a different technique that is called painting. So if you want to learn about that, you could uh, look on my site or elsewhere for lessons on 3D painting. Thank you for your attention.